Oh, hi. Welcome back to my channel. And if you want to see how I got today's face, go ahead and watch the show. <laughs> Another quick eye tutorial. Um, so to go ahead and start and prime my lids, I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in this shade Light. And all I'm going to do with this is going to go ahead and pop that on my lid. And then on this lid. That's a cute look, isn't it? And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with my ring finger. I just went ahead and grabbed my concealer brush and my setting powder by e.l.f. This is the Beauty Shield in a translucent color. So it's just a very natural color. And all of this is a setting powder. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Just to have that concealer increasing. Let's go ahead and grab a little brush. Brush the excess off. I'll be using the Morphe palette, and this is going to be in the shade. So I'm going back in with my little trusty Flat and Wild blending brush, and to go in with the Morphe palette, I'm going to go ahead and go in with transition shade color. Right here. Okay. So go ahead and do that. It's a nice little transition color. Now going in with this eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go ahead and be going in with this shade right here, just to land it. Go right on the metal. With the crease brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Awake. Ah, <laughs> don't worry guys. All I did here was just go ahead and cut the crease. Just wanted to lay the color down because the next step is very crucial in this look. I'm going back in with this little brush. Going back into the market palette. Go ahead and go in with this little And once that was blended out okay, I actually just went back into that Morphe palette with that nice fluffy brush and just went ahead and blended a little more just to get all those colors to merge together a little more uniform, uniformly. Next up, I'm going to do a half cut crease using the Tarte Shape Tape.
And once that crease was cut, I just went ahead and went back with that e.l.f. and that same concealer brush and just set the cut crease so I made sure it didn't crease up again. With a nice brush, just go ahead and pack it onto your lid. Made sure that that soft pink comes through so you can get a little bit of pigment and it looks And now I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm going into the Kevin D shade palette. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And with that fluffy brush side of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, just grab it and go ahead and start blending in from the outer corner in just to about half of your lid. Now going in back to that Morphe palette, I'm going to use that color and just going to go ahead and grab it back with a fluffy brush and just marry all those colors so they're all equally united. So I was blended till I was happy, I just went and grabbed a fluffy Morphe brush, sp sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus and just went in with this Morphe palette again and as soon as I picked it up. I was scared, but I just grabbed that shimmer shade and just go ahead and pop that into my whole inner corner where I cut the crease with that shade right there. Not picking up anymore, I'm like this. And then just to go ahead and start off my face, I'm going to go ahead and prime with my Honey Mix Do Me Up. And also I'm going to be using in my T-Zone just the Milk Blur Stick to get rid of my zero pores. And these two are my favorite combinations for my skin. Go ahead and prime. And just in the T-Zone, I'm going to go ahead and focus because I don't want my pores showing. I'm just going to grab that blur stick and just go ahead and pull it out. And make sure I have enough. This camera sucks sometimes, but if you're watching this far, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. See what you guys think. Um, pretty much just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this because you guys have seen me go ahead and do my foundation and my prep already. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Pure Liquid Veil, and also I'm gonna be using a squirt or two of the Marc Jacobs. A genius gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and combine these to get a perfect shade of my skin and you guys know what I'm doing. Just gonna go squirt one, two, three, possibly three pumps. Maybe four. We'll see. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and three sprays of my pure mineral bell just to go ahead and get that started. I grabbed my e.l.f. steepling brush and started blending that into my skin, making sure I dragged it down to my neck. Like I say, you don't want to be a two-tone hoe, so blend down to your neck. Once that's blended down just enough, I'm going in with my Sephora Precision Sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all that in. Make sure you have seamless application. Go ahead and get rid of my under eye circles. I'm going in with the KKW Concealer in the shade 10 and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of my under eye bags because nobody likes that.
Alright, shave tape and night neutral. I meant to say neutral, not noodle. Can you tell I was hungry? This one crosses my Smashbox contour. And where's my Morphe 6? To set my under eye, I'm gonna be using Kip on Things Locket in the shade Petal. To set my face, I'll be using the L and the Makeup Rebel. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start bronzing with the tantalizer. I'm just going with my light shade using this color. Be going in. Make it forevers and NYX waterline. Going with this little NYX little smudger brush. For today's lashes, I went ahead and put on some Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Nice fluffy full lash. What do you guys think so far? For liquid highlights, I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution's Champagne. And to moisturize my lips, I'm just going to grab the Ink Credible and the Jelly Shot to moisturize. And then to go ahead and line my lips, I'm going to go in with the Jante Blue and the shade Sugar Brown. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use my favorite formula, which is going to be the NYX Soft Matte in the shade Abu Dhabi. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lip. Alright, and then to go over the top of the lip, I'm going to go ahead and be using... Lipstick Queen in the shade of Fairness Babe. Alright guys, and well, you have reached the end of my show. And if you guys would like what you're seeing, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Uh, go ahead and go to the bottom of the comments, leave me a little panda emoji with the purple heart, so I know that you are watching, and thank you guys so much, and see you guys next time. Bye!